方很荣幸的邀请到了一位教授，他的名字叫做 Javid Mirza 先生，做客我们的节目。Ah,、uh, my name, as you mentioned, is Javid Mirza. I'm from New York. Ah,、uh. I have been living in New York for the last 35 years. Mm-hmm. I'm an educationist. I pride myself in combining the education of India, where I was born. Ah,、uh-huh. and for the last 35 years, I have been in USA. So I'm a U.S. citizen, and、mm-hmm. I've been able to do my Ph.D. from USA. Wow. And I teach there for so many years, so it's a privilege for me, and、uh, it's good to meet you here in in Qatar. You know, the place where Wise is having a great showmanship, where、yeah. they are they are bringing in people of intellect, people steeped in education from around the world, and helping us know the various dimensions of education.、Mm-hmm. So that's a pleasure. Great, excellent. Can you tell us about what you're doing now? I am right now. Looking at Doha as a venue where I can meet people of interest,、mm-hmm. you know, since I have had a varied career dealing with multiple areas like education, technology, technology because I was running an IT company,、mm-hmm. and as an IT company, I would do projects and I would bring IT software professionals to、uh, to USA from India, and I had hundreds of them coming in, including Chinese. Professionals,、oh, Chinese as well. Good. I went to China to Beijing, Beijing, and to Chengdu as a member of the U.S. Business Association. Uh huh. So we went with the U.S. China business delegation from there.、Mm-hmm. So this was in 2004, and、uh, wow, that was I, I,、uh, yeah, it was ten years ago. Yes, <laughs> so it was lovely there, you know, and I was so happy to meet the Chinese people. You know, we have so many things in common. Okay, you know, what are they? Big countries, yeah. Big population, you know, poor countries, developing countries. Mm. You know, many challenges to deal with, and India is more complex because you got here you got different castes, different religions, different gods. Yeah. You know, and、uh, poverty there is much more there, so you got much more challenges right now in India than you probably have there. You have a different kind of challenge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So any solutions that you have in mind, how to、uh, tackle those problems? You know, <coughs> I think politics rules the country. Yeah. You know the policies are laid down by the politicians.、Mm-hmm. They are the main driving force,、yeah. which can bring about massive change. You know the CPC in China,、mm-hmm. by putting up a policy, it's able to cut down you know poverty and to bring about a lot of changes in the country. Yes. In yes. India, you know we have got a very distorted economy. You know、mm-hmm. the, the rich are very rich, and the poor are very poor. Yeah. Yeah. So a huge gap there. Yes.、Yeah, so you know I mean people like me. We have no option in working with the politicians here because most of them are corrupt and they, nothing's possible. So、oh. what we do is, you know, as people from the middle class, as people from the non-profit sectors here, we try our best to make things improve.、Mm-hmm. You know, nothing can be done on a on a high level. You can only do in small areas.、Mm-hmm. So right now, my focus area is to help, you know, the poor students, the underprivileged, you know, in the urban areas, in the rural areas. Get jobs by getting skills training. I see. So you think the education is the is the key, the solution to this problem? I mean, education which combines, you know, good quality learning,、mm-hmm. which also combines skills training. Skill training. You、yeah. know, it is not abstruse education. It is not just getting a degree. It is being able to understand what the market needs and bring that to the kids, get them trained for a year, and then push them them into the market so that they can make a decent living. Yeah, so yeah. That I, is, I can't help but notice that there's、uh, one sentence that's、uh, here on, on on the car. Like job training empowers youth to realize the dreams and improve their lives. Right. Yeah. yeah. This、uh, is a quotation by Sylvia Burwell,、uh-huh. and there's another one here by the former president of 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 India, Mr. Abdul Kalam,、mm-hmm. which says that the new th- the youth need to be enabled to become job generators from job seekers. Oh, so basically, he's saying that you know, not only, not only create training for getting jobs, but also become a job giver, job giver、oh. by becoming an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs.、Oh. So like, it's asking for entrepreneurial skills as well as you know,、uh, vocational skills, the combination of the two,、mm-hmm. because not too many jobs are there, but people can be self-employed when they learn the skills. I so see. So you give them entrepreneurial training, and then you give them some handholding. You know, tell them what the government、uh, subsidies are,、mm-hmm. or you know how to get to get a loan from the bank,、I、and、see. then you know maybe a, some sort of a apprenticeship with different things here, so that they can 
learn the business rules here and then they follow that stuff here. I it's see. not for all, but that's another opportunity that is very important. Yeah, I see. So those are some really um, practical skills they need to practical have, skills. right? They need to help with their daily yeah, degree, yeah. Uh, daily lives. No, no, not just skills to help them get a degree. Yeah. You know, I'm from USA. Having been there for a long time, I know what is efficiency. I know what, you know, the, the, the possibilities of real, you know, emerging technologies are, mm -hmm. you know, solar technology, all that. China is, is doing great in that. Oh, not not India, mm -hmm. but, you know, I can bring some of those skills from India, from China also, mm -hmm. from USA, China too. I mean, China is, is a big teacher now. Uh -huh, and, okay. you know, China has embraced technology. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, unlike uh, even USA, USA is not so advanced in, in certain areas. Mm -hmm. So China has got, you know, the bullet trains coming up, you know, it's got you know, very refined ways of doing it. Yeah, you know, yeah. India is very good in software technology. Yes. You know, I have hired so many software guys and know they can do a good job. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, if you can bring these resources together, mm -hmm. you know, technology and, and, and the software programming, and you are doing a fantastic job, you know, I really commend you for that. Because by providing open source, you are giving them a whole library at home that they can look, they can read, they can learn yeah. on their own pace here. Yes, yes. You know, exactly. hats off to such people here. You know, that's what makes life more interesting, you know, more worth living. You yes. know, you aspire for it, you feel happy about it. Exactly. You know, at the end of the day, you know, what you do is basically learn to live with a community of people that you can help. Yes, that's yes, yes. that's you know that makes your day a good day. That's a you know, get the feeling of uh, accomplishment. Yes. Yeah, by helping others, you get the feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction within you. Yeah, within you feel you, the happiness. Yeah. Yes. Wow, excellent, excellent. Uh, can you tell us of maybe more more specific skills that you often um, help help people to, to to get or students to get? You know what we have to do is to identify local skills in demand. You ah. know, different areas have different demand areas. In some place, it can in your, be in your opinion, in your experience. You know, my experience in New York is basically teaching, you know, um, the inner city schools. In 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 USA, they don't have slums. Uh -huh. They have what is called the inner cities. Inner cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there, I have taught students mathematics mm -hmm. and some computer programming. You know, but I haven't done vocational training there. But there is required there. Mm -hmm. You know, in India, there is a very high need because I come from here. I know. I feel that. The challenge in India is 10 times more. Uh -huh. So I want to devote my energy here. Mm -hmm. But because of my background in the USA, I want to bring the technology from there, contacts from there, to curriculum help. from there. Mm -hmm. You know, because anything you're doing, you must do it in a very scientific way, in an advanced way. Yes. Not yes. in the old style, you know, not in, you know, in a dragging way. Mm -hmm. So when you combine the two, then there is a real, you know, depth of learning. There is a real, you know, infusion and a, a, a blowing of the energy here. Mm -hmm, good, good. So you bring those good elements back yes, to your yes. homeland, right? To help your, yeah. your people there. Yeah. Wow. The really noble thing that you've been doing. Excellent, excellent. Wow, we're kind of running out of time here. And yes, uh, yes. Before we finish up here, do you have any other words you want to say to Chinese people? <coughs> My dear brothers, you know, when I went to China, I was very happy because coming from India, I see beggars on the street. I see, you know, so many poor people. And in China, I could not find that. I was very amazed. You know, I asked the driver to take me to the place where there are slums. They said, there are no more slums here. You know, they have been converted into tall buildings and there is housing there. I was, it was really a, a shocker for me. But it was a happy thing. You know, I felt very glad that, you know, China, with, his, with its own model of communism, has been able to do that. Yep. You know, but at the same time, I can tell you that, you know, I, I'm very happy to talk to you. And the fact that you said you were an openware, which basically means that, you are given giving intellectual property for free for the ordinary people here. Yes, yes. And uh, you know that makes me salute you and you know thank you for that because you are contributing to to world humanities development. Thank you so much for taking the interview. It's a real honor to have you on the show. Wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you, brother.